Well, this is Alex Grover with Quarter Acre Homestead. Um, I did a bee inspection earlier and I uh, need to replace some of my protein patty and my, um, my sugar syrup. And uh, these girls are doing pretty good, but while I'm here, I want to check, now that I've got both hands free, I want to look at the quality of my, uh, my queen cell. Because the queen cell, if she's not good, the whole colony is not going to be good. So I'm going to go ahead and pull things apart. And take a closer look at that. Again, I can do this. Got a yellow jacket and I don't want her in while I'm opening the top. So if I stab at something, I'm killing a yellow jacket, not a bee. Again, these frames are just absolutely heavy with bees and they've been storing away my sugar syrup. Sister Baker, if you'd like to come down, this is Cammie, this is my host. That is the queen cell and it is capped. Can you see that, Maya? You yeah. can zoom it in if you need to. That's about the only new wax we've seen in here, but um, I'm, I'm satisfied that that is going to be sufficient. Now earlier today I stuck in an older frame with some older comb on it. It was kind of dirty. It actually even had mold on it. These, actually already cleaning it off. So they'll be filling this with uh, the sugar water very shortly. Um, there's still some old stuff from the previous years. So we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I've got my pollen patty here. I've wrapped it in uh, wax paper and I'm going to pull out my queen excluder and stick it in the bottom. I don't have room in the top because I don't quite have the room because this is a makeshift feeding cover. But that way I don't have to worry about other critters eating it too much of it. I'm sure some ants will get in there and then I can have it. Uh, Make sure the bees are focused on it. Put my cover back on. Try not to squish the bees. Uh, the parent for this hive was a Carnolian queen, or whatever that means these days. So um, I've got to make sure that I've got things taken care of um, feeding wise, because the Carnolian, when the food starts going down, queen quits producing. Now I haven't got a queen yet, I've still got 20 more days before she's likely to start laying. And i got 20 days after that before I start getting bees hatching and, and able to actually be working. So we're going to have probably to feed all summer and they will have a lot of this food residual. It's not technically honey but they'll use it as honey through the winter. So this will be, um, I'm pre-feeding them and, and they'll be able to use it whenever they need to. If things go well, I might get some honey this year, but probably not enough for me to be able to use. So, any questions, Cammie? Does that little lid have a hole in it? Does that big up there? I actually put about 20 holes in with a hot pin. So they're very hard to see, but it keeps... have bigger holes, the stuff just flows through. Yeah. So, I found that out last year. That I just had a... I like... I like metal and, and glass with my bees rather than plastic, but I just couldn't do it. The glass bottles all came with metal lids, so this will work, and it's been working really well because they're. I have every frame in there, or every cell in there that doesn't have the queen has got some um, some sugar water in it. So I, they're 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 taking it, they're storing it, which will be good for next year. Well, good for over the winter.
So do you guys have any questions? Not yet. Okay. Well, this is Alex Grover with Quarter Acre Homestead, Manana.